Let's solve x to the power of x to the power of 4 equals 64. So I'm going to write a law for that. Uh, that is a to the power of m whole to the power of n equals whenever you have power to power you multiply the powers a to the power of m times n which is also equal to you can reverse the powers n inside and m outside a to the power of n whole to the power of m so we're going to use these laws when we are solving this question now the first step what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the power of four on both sides as we already have 4 but i'm going to take it again so that's equal to x to the power of x to the power of 4 whole to the power of 4 again and i have to take it on both sides so 64 to the power of 4 as well now whenever you have power to power you multiply the power so times 4 which is equal to 64 to the power of 4. Now, what can we do in this? As per the law, you can even reverse the powers. So, let's take 4 inside x to the power of 4. And then, whole to the power of x to the power of 4. Which is equal to 64 to the power of 4. And now, there's something to the power of something. And what's that? 64 can be written as 8 squared over 4. So, we have power to power, multiply them. 8 to the power of 8. So, that's 8 to the power of 8, which is also equal to x to the power of 4, whole to the power of x to the power of 4. So, let's write that down. x to the power of 4, whole to the power of x to the power of 4 equals 8 to the power of 8. And now, we can compare either the bases or the powers. Thus, we have x to the power of 4 equals 8 and x is equal to plus or minus 4th root of 8. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Take care and have fun.